Welcome to my tutorial for ArtRage Studio Pro's preset system. Uh, to begin, I'm just going to open up my settings panel, my tool panel, and my presets panel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a preset is basically just a saved instance of the settings panel for a particular tool. Uh, so as you see here, I have my oil brush selected, um, and you can see the different default presets for the specific tool. Uh, now I know their default because they all have a .next to them. All right, so if these were user created, there wouldn't be a dot next to it. Okay, so everything I have in this particular group for the presets uh, for my oil brush are all default. Uh, and if I select on different tools here, you'll see different uh, presets appear. Okay, so uh, like I said, the preset is basically just a saved settings panel uh, instance. So if you go ahead and click on the reset tool button here, uh, it'll make sure that you're at your default for the tool that you have selected. Uh, so this is what the default oil brush looks like. Okay. Uh, and if I select one of these presets, you'll see that it looks uh, very different. Okay, so this one is really thinned out. Okay, you can barely even see the colors. Uh, if I click on the next one, you can see it starts out pretty wet, but it dries up almost instantly. So there's different presets for this tool that all do different things. Uh, so let's say you you have found a specific setting that you think that you'll probably use a lot in the future. That's something that you'd want to save as a preset for future use. Uh, I happen to have one, which I'm going to go ahead and set up right now. Uh, and this is one I use a lot for blending uh, without actually pushing paint around. It's got the Insta Dry on, uh, but a high thinner. So I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with that a little bit here. So, th so this is something I would want to save. And to do that, I'd just go down to the bottom here for my preset panel and say new preset. That opens up this panel here where I can give it a name. I'm going to call this one My Blender. Uh, but I want to have a thumbnail made for it as well. And to do that, I'm going to click on this uh, brush icon and select Sample Preview Image. Uh, and you can see all the other panels have uh, vanished on us, but the icon panel has appeared. And you just move that around by dragging on this bar here. Uh, it's a little small, so what I'm going to do is hold control down and click on that top bar again. And by moving my mouse or pen up and down, you can see it enlarges the box or uh, decreases the size of the box. Uh, so I'm going to click the check mark there, and you can see that the preview is put in the box for me. Now, I could choose a different group for this. Uh, I do have a specific group set up already called My Presets. Uh, if you didn't have one created, you can just create one by clicking on this menu box here and saying Add Preset Group. And you can go ahead and create it. All you have to do is give it a name and click OK. Uh, again, I'm not going to do that because I already have one called My Presets Made. So that's the group I'm going to put this particular uh, preset in. And I'm going to say OK. Uh, and as you see, it's not in this group. It's in my Personal Presets group. So I'm going to select on that, and you can see the two presets that I have created. Uh, and at this point, you can see there's no dot next to it, which means these are created by a user and not default uh, presets. So now whenever I want to use that preset, I can just click on it and use it. Uh, and again, you won't be able to see it too well unless I'm over a color because this is a blending brush. All right, so that's pretty simple. Uh, a thing to note though, you know, a lot of people ask on the forums is, okay, well, now I have it, but how the heck do I get rid of it? So if you ever find yourself in a position of wanting to get rid of one of the presets that you've made, uh, what you want to do is open the preset group folder. Uh, to do that, you'd click on this menu tab and select open user tool preset folder. 
Now it's important that you're on the uh, the tool for the preset that you want to delete. Okay, so if it's you know if it's a, t a preset that you want to get rid of for the oil brush, make sure that you have the oil brush selected. Open up the preset panel, go to the menu tab, and say open user tool preset folder. It'll bring you right to the folder that you need to be in. Okay, this is a folder on your system. All right, so at this point, I could actually close Art Ridge uh, and still be able to do what I'm doing here. And you can see the folder for my presets. I'm going to click on that, and you can see that I'm now looking at the two presets that I have in Art Ridge. And if I didn't want that uh, that Blender brush anymore for that preset, I'd select it, and tell it delete it. Okay, so now it's deleted. At this point, I don't want to close Art Ridge and reopen Art Ridge. And now, if I go to my preset folder, you'll see that that preset no longer exists. Uh, again, you know, if you wanted to just rename a preset, you could do the same thing. You just open that, go to the preset, right click on it, select rename. Uh, and rename it here. At which point, again, you'd want to restart ArtRage, and then uh, that preset would be renamed to whatever you wanted. Um, another thing you would probably end up wanting to do at some point is uh, maybe importing a uh, particular preset that might have been created by a different user. Uh, and I know a few people at the ArtRage forums have put some up for uh, other people to download and use. Uh, and to do that, Again, you just go to your preset panel and click on the menu tab. Um, you'll select the option to import preset to collection. That'll open up a, a window for your system. Uh, you just browse your way to wherever the file is that you downloaded. Uh, I have one here that's called dryblender.prs. Click open and that brush gets imported directly into your presets for use. This is actually the uh, brush I had just created under a different name, uh, a preset rather, that I created under a different name. Uh, so if I select that, you can see it's just the same dry brush that I just got rid of. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. I hope it helps.